Welcome everyone, good morning, good afternoon, maybe even good evening. I have good news, I am alive. I jinxed myself on Saturday when I said I was sick and it was no big deal. Apparently I was sicker than expected, especially with a runny nose and a sore throat, which pretty much made it impossible to hold a conversation in front of a microphone for more than five seconds before having to snort and suck up my runny nose away. So I had to take a break, but now we are all good. Now we can go and talk about something else that I had time to ponder about as I was lying, waiting for my time to leave this earth. So when I was on my deathbed, considering my deeds in life, I started thinking about something I had been doing for a while, which was doing some charity, doing some community activities with you, trying to give you some more ideas, trying to give you some more options when you were choosing a new character to play, a new spec or a new class to play. This is a cyclical thing that happens in an MMO. Whenever there is a new big patch, you start getting excited. Perhaps you want something new to try. You want to get into that new content with something even fresher than, say, the character you have been playing for months or maybe even for years. So every time there is a big patch, starting from the big expansion launch and then the big patches of the expansion, we go over these videos where we look at which specs are the most fun to play, which specs are the easiest and the hardest to play. And then we look at which specs are the fastest to play, which specs are the slowest to play, what is the damage profile of each spec. Can you expect this spec to do a lot of single target damage, a lot of AoE damage? Can you expect this spec to be wanted in raids or perhaps in Mythic Plus? Because all of these are factors that you can use to choose your character to play. Perhaps you are a player who would rather play in Mythic Plus than in raids, who would rather play a slow spec than a fast spec, and what you care the most is the spec being fun. So you can look at all of these different variables and then choose your character to play. Now, I noticed as I was doing all of that, that I also kind of neglected to point out about my choices, about what I was doing. You know, I was going out giving all of these advices to my viewers about which spec to play, which class to play, if you enjoy this or that or this other thing. What about my choices? What about how did I go in choosing my characters? And more importantly, now that we are getting close to another big patch that might bring people to change characters, for example, what have been my choices? And more importantly, how did I end up choosing these characters? To play. Now, for the oldest of viewers that might remember this, this was the same type of video I made right before Shadowlands as I chose my characters to play at the start of the expansion. As you have seen from my videos, some of these things disappeared over time because my original choices to play the expansion was Shaman, Druid and Monk. Of course, Druid and Monk have been left along the way over time eventually. My initial idea was that I already knew I would have raided as a shaman. I already knew from being a raider as a shaman in BFA that I would have continued to be a shaman. So what I cared about more was Mythic Plus. At the time, shaman wasn't really considered too much as a Mythic Plus spec. Back by the end of BFA, Restoration Shaman was one of the least played healer specs in Mythic Plus, as well as Elemental. Both of the specs weren't really particularly popular in Mythic Plus. And then of course you have Enhancement, which has basically never been a popular spec in Mythic Plus. So I thought, okay, if I am playing in raids Shaman, which I am fine with, I also want to try some Mythic Plus. And to do that, I need to start looking at some specs that might allow me to play Mythic Plus. So my choices ended up landing on Monk and Druid. Initially, the idea was very, was very nebulous because as Shadowlands launches as an expansion, we are not perfectly sure which specs are going to become meta, which specs are going to become wanted. But the original idea was to play Monk, popular and solid tank in Mythic Plus throughout the expansions. And then for Druid, it was Restoration Druid, because of course, Restoration Druid was the to go healer for Mythic Plus for both Legion and BFA. So they looked like some pretty decent slash solid choices to go into the new expansion. Now, this didn't quite turn out to be how I predicted. Of course, as we have all seen, Restoration Druid didn't quite 
turn out to be a powerhouse in Mythic Plus, in fact, quite the opposite, whereas when it came to Monk, Brewmaster was still the and has been for a while kind of like the second pick behind the the flavor of the month choice back when warrior protection warrior was super popular the second best was brewmaster and then at the start of shadowlands it was vengeance demon hunter and then the second best was brewmaster but then you still had the same issues where mistweaver of course was almost completely unused and at the start of the expansion for quite a while windwalker monk also wasn't nearly in the same state that it's been right now, for example, and in, in the past few months. So my TLDR for my initial choices was, was that they were not very good, and I kind of messed up. I kept playing, and I'm still playing my Shaman, but I had to change my characters. I had to look for new picks to play for the next part of the expansion. The abandonment of these classes and specs didn't have too much to do with many of the points I was talking about when I tried to inform my dear viewers about what to pick as a main or even as an alt, be it the fun, the speed of the specs, the complexity of the specs, etc, etc. Resto Druid it simply wasn't as fun. The initial choice of being Resto Druid was because it was very meta, so that was my, my main, what I put most stocks in, the fact that it was meta. I was more interested in Guardian Druid as far as enjoyment goes, and I knew eventually Guardian Druid would have become meta. I talked about this multiple times, that it would have been the year of the bear, uh, very often, unfortunately, it took way too long for the Year of the Bear to come in. By the time it happened, I had already abandoned Druid. And the other pick, Brewmaster, I did enjoy Brewmaster as a tank. It wasn't particularly my favorite tank at the time, or even now. I still liked, for example, Blood Death Knight more as a tank, but that's when you have to start making some compromises. Death Knight was my number one tank when it came to fun, but then I had to put things in perspective when it came to meta, for example, when it came to how wanted a Blood DK was, especially in Mythic Plus, which was my, my goal for a tank, to play it in Mythic Plus, and I didn't see much room for Blood DK to be used in Mythic Plus. I am lucky that my main choice that I'm currently playing, Resto Shaman, is also the, the more fun healer that I can play. It fits very well for me and also even more lucky that it's also meta for both Mythic Plus and Raids, so it's something very rare. This expansion, I have to admit, when I had to choose a new class to play and a new spec to play, I wanted to play another healer because on top of the Shaman, I wanted to try something else, especially because I also enjoy to do DPS and because my main goal when it came to picking a second healer was to do Mythic Plus, we are entering a brave new world where more and more often healers are going to be expected to DPS in Mythic Plus keys. So specs that were enjoyable and also gave me some room to DPS in Mythic Plus was also something I was looking out for. And the obvious choice over time became Paladin. I already played Paladin in BFA. I was already accustomed with the class and Holy Paladin is also a meta spec when it comes to Mythic Plus and is one of the healers that ticks the box of being able to do quite a lot actually of DPS in Mythic Plus. So it was my main choice when it came to choosing another class and another spec to play, which is what you might have noticed with a bunch of footage in my videos that Paladin is the other class I have been playing over time. I had to bring it up. First I was Kyrian, then I had to reroll to Ventir, and then I had to regrind all of the Renown, do all of the Torghast stuff for the legendaries, etc, etc. So now it's been slowly getting up to the same level of my Shaman. It's almost ready to start leeching my guild's reclears of the raid, to start getting some better item level, and that's my second pick, to go with two healers. Also because I have been playing quite a bit of protection, tanking in both Legion and BFA, and I also enjoyed the, the protection paladin style of tanking, so it's also a good outlet if I wanted to play a different role than healer together with the Holy Paladin, so that was an easy choice. This left me with a third pick. That's as far as I go usually when playing characters. I don't think I can go further than three, mostly because of Blizzard's good old 
ways of putting repeatable, grindable content you have to do every patch, you know, whether it is having to do the dailies of Najatar and Mechagon, or having to do the assaults in Nyalotha, or having to grind the Mo or Corthia in Shadowlands, I can quite never get past three characters, I think it's my max when it comes to playing them, so I had to choose a third one. I had a shaman already, so I had a healer already, which can also play elemental. I also have a paladin, which can be both healer and tank that, that, that interest me to play. So the third one had to be a DPS. Perhaps with the option to tank might have been an extra, a plus, but the main choice would have had to be DPS. So I had one option, always ready, which was Windwalker because Windwalker had been abandoned as a monk at the start of the expansion, but over time, Windwalker had started doing much better. So now Windwalker is a much more viable option as a DPS, particularly in what I'm interested in, which is Mythic Plus. So now Windwalker has sprung back up to being a very viable option as a DPS. The other option I had when I started looking at, okay, which melee DPS specs I have enjoyed the most, which fit my criteria for being fun, for example. Also, you know, weighting them a little bit based on how meta they are. Because of course, if I totally love Survival Hunter, I also have to put, you know, into account the fact that nobody wants a Survival Hunter. So you have to kind of consider that point. Luckily for me, Survival Hunter is not part of my favorite specs, so it wasn't an issue. My main pick besides Windwalker, besides the option of going back to Windwalker, you know, saying sorry to Monk for having abandoned them all those months ago, has been between Warrior and Demon Hunter. So this is pretty interesting uh, for, for me and myself, not really for you, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you in on, on the interesting part for me. I basically loathe Demon Hunter. I hate the, the Demon Hunter idea as a whole. I curse Blizzard every day whenever I wake up. I curse them for having added Demon Hunter in the game. So I thought one of the good ways to, to face this hate for the spec and the class was to actually play it. Because effectively I haven't really played Demon Hunter myself. Sure, sure. I played a bunch of Demon Hunter in the beta of Legion, in the beta of BFA, and even the beta of Shadowlands. I had to try the spec multiple times in dungeons, in the open world content, and even in raids when they were testable. So I had played it, but never quite as a as a main character, as a, as a character I had any intention of playing. So I thought, you know what? If you want to actually put this hate to rest, you have to actually play it once. You know, for one time, just try the spec try to play it yourself so you can finally put this issue to rest. Also because, as much as I hate Demon Hunter as a whole, Havok has gotten better to play over time. It has gotten less simple. It has a few more, you know, a few more tools here and there to make it a little bit more enjoyable to play and a little bit more varied. And I don't want to say difficult, very difficult, but at the very least a bit more complex. To play properly whenever whenever the momentum part starts being added into the rotation it can become more enjoyable to play so that is why i started second guessing myself i'm still not sure i'm still not 100 percent sure it wasn't because of my illness it wasn't because i was hallucinating this debate this internal debate about playing havoc demon hunter perhaps it was all just in my head the other class i was thinking about being warrior was because i never actually played at a let's just call it end game level i never actually played warrior i did play by the end of bfa warrior as a tank quite a bit but that was a clusterfuck of corruptions it wasn't it wasn't quite the same plus it wasn't my main it wasn't even my main out at the time so the option for 9.1.5 and the future for me has fallen between choosing monk warrior or demon hunter luckily for me at the moment arms Havok and Windwalker are the most represented Mythic Plus specs in the game, together with Rogues, so they are all pretty healthy when it comes to representation. So I do have quite a pickle to decide which one of them to, to, to end up choosing. Monk, of course, has the advantage that I started playing the spec already at the start of Shadowlands. It did already follow up with the campaign. It has been brought up with some welfare gear to be a little bit more ready to play, whereas Havok and Warrior are still stuck all the way back to BFA. So it's going to take more time for them to level up, which is why I'm going to start looking into them earlier, since Monk is much, is much closer to being ready 
than these two classes. So we can say ultimately that those were my choices in the specs and the classes I want to play. Honestly, if I could, I would play way more of them. It's just that, as we know, it takes quite a, a bit of time to, to grind uh, a few of the things to keep up your character up to up to par, up to, to, to a good level, so I simply don't have the, the, the time or the willpower to play multiple characters and do things like Corthia multiple times or perhaps Demo multiple times on multiple characters. So those were my decisions for the upcoming patch. I wanted to know as we close the video what has been your thought process in choosing your characters or if you have even chosen one to begin with. Maybe you have a lot of patience, maybe you think that it's more important to wait for the changes of 9.2 because at the end of the day it's not that 9.1.5 is going to bring out a lot of new content, it's just a quality of life patch so you, you are waiting for the next major Patch to make any decisions or maybe you have already chosen maybe you have already decided to play something else let me know what have been your choices and for the moment we can stop here thank you for watching the video if you have enjoyed the content and want to support the channel you can like the video leave a comment down below as well as subscribing to the channel and go leave some flowers on my grave which is empty but i made it anyways ahead of time just in case my illness would have proven fatal anyways see you guys soon and in the meantime ah, i feels good it feels good being able to talk again no runny nose no interruptions <laughs>